I rode this thing in as a rust bucket, you know, and I didn't know what I got myself into. But a handful of volunteers started coming down and offering their service to help restore this ship and turn it into the beautiful ship you see today. The legend I heard about Clark Farnsworth was this guy was an experienced welder with the Capital District Chief Petty Officers Association. And what he told them was when they said, well, hey, anybody want to go down and volunteer in this later? He says, I'm not going to waste my time going down to that rust bucket and just sit around drinking coffee. If I go down there, I want to work. Well, this guy comes aboard with his cane and he says, I can do a little bit of bench work for you, but that's probably about it. So we set him up with a welding project on the bench. I think it was three weeks later, he's up there in the flag bags, hanging over the side well with the flag bags in place. And he's been welding for us ever since. We used to joke, we, he had a mattress that he'd carry around, so we had, if he had to do welding where he was laying down on deck, we, everybody's looking for Clark's mattress, you know. And it was up until, I'm gonna say about three years ago, this guy was still laying on the deck welding, you know. Now he is down to bench work, but you know, we're just proud to have him with us. This guy's 93 years old, and you know, I don't know how we get along without him. So Clark, thank you for all you've done. You know, we have a cake for you, and the guy from the American Welding Society wants to step forward and present the box.